What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Business Buzz, where we focus on business, entrepreneurship, and investing. In today's video, we're gonna be going through some of the most useful, frugal living tips to save you money. Living below your means is so important when building wealth. It can help you save more money to be invested or save more money to pay off debts. Now, some of you may look at these tips as a bit ridiculous and unnecessary, but it's important to understand that every single penny is valuable and compound interest can build these pennies into thousands of dollars. We're gonna be going through seven of these tips today, and number three is pretty good. All I ask for you guys is to go down and hit that like button for us. If you hit that like button, you'll start saving more money. Number one, purchase in bulk. Buying groceries and other necessities from the store can save you tons of money and tons of trips to and from the store. Of course, the only items that you should purchase in bulk are ones that you use a lot of or that wait a long time to expire. Some of these items include canned goods, spices, and toilet paper. I know my audience. For example, when shopping for beans, for example, at a large bulk store like Costco or Sam's Club, you can save around 15% for every can of beans when you purchase in bulk. That really starts to add up. Number two, eat me basket. When you drink some milk or eat a fruit and realize that it's expired, it can be really disgusting and potentially dangerous. Not only that, but it's a waste of money. To ensure that this doesn't happen, it's important to keep a basket to put food inside that will be expiring soon to ensure that it doesn't expire. So next time that you're hungry or thirsty, you can go for that basket first before it expires. However, it's important to keep in mind that many foods a few days after they expire are almost always safe to eat. So don't just throw it away if it's one day expired. For example, milk, often it has a sell-by date. That doesn't mean that it expires at that date. That just means that the store that sells it has to sell it by that date, meaning it's usually safe to drink a few days or even weeks afterwards. Number three, the seven-day roll. Many people struggle with making too many impulse purchases online. It's way too quick and easy to buy stuff today now that you can just do it online and basically take a minute to do your shopping. However, next time you really want to buy something non-essential, I would wait seven days before you decide whether you actually need it or not. That way, you won't have that impulsivity, you know, swirling around your brain. You can wait the seven days and have a clear mind and decide, okay, now do I still really need this? Is it worth the money? And most of the time, it'll probably be a no. However, keep in mind that sometimes even waiting 48 hours or even five minutes can mean the difference between making a purchase and saying, hey, this isn't worth it. Number four, meal planning. Meal planning is a great way to organize your meals throughout the week and also ensuring that you eat healthy. Not to mention, when you go grocery shopping, you'll know exactly what to buy and not waste money on unnecessary foods. You're gonna have to set aside a few hours on one day to cook and prepare all of your meals for the week. And it might be a bit time consuming at the time, but it'll save you plenty of money in the long run. This will also prevent you from wanting to go to fast food just because it's convenient because you'll already have a meal that is planned to eat, so you'll be saving money in that sense as well. Even more importantly than saving the money though, again, this can be a really healthy idea because you are planning the meals ahead instead of planning them right at the last minute, which can add years to your life and more years for your money to gain compound interest. I just had to say it. Number five, use less of hygiene products. Yep, that's right. Don't wear deodorant and never take showers. I'm just kidding. What I really mean is to limit the amount that you use that many people just use excess of different products and that's what companies want you to do. For example, have you ever seen a commercial or a print ad for toothpaste? They basically put the whole roll of toothpaste on the brush. Is that necessary? Absolutely not, but many people do it. It's, ac it's actually kind of disgusting and it's completely unnecessary. In reality, you need much less than you think and you can extend your toothpaste by weeks. This applies to all sorts of products, body wash, soap, different feminine products, anything really. Number six, Uber pull. You may use Uber every single day to get to and from work or just occasionally to get to and from places in your town. However, there is a way that you can save tons of money using Uber by just giving up a little bit of your time. Before I even give you this tip though, it's important to know that you should only use Uber for emergencies or non-walkable distances. It's also important to use Uber only when you're gonna go down and hit the like button with your driver. 
But seriously, Uber Pool is an option to where you can share rides with other riders to save money. It's going to take you more time to get to your destination, but it will save you money in their version of carpooling. Sadly, however, this specific service from Uber is only available in certain areas, specifically big cities. Number seven, coffee subscriptions. Are you a coffee lover? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if you are because as a study performed by Statista, over 68% of Americans admit to drinking at least two cups of coffee per day. To save money on this addiction, you can do a coffee subscription that many restaurants and coffee shops offer. Now, of course, the cheapest thing that you can do with coffee is either not drink it or make it yourself. But if you just can't go without going to a coffee shop and getting your coffee, then this is a better tip for you. So instead of going out and buying an individual coffee every single day, you can simply pay a monthly fee to get unlimited coffee or near unlimited coffee for the month. Panera offers one of the greatest deals, not sponsored. I am open to it though. And they offer $8.99 a month for unlimited coffee. This includes any sizes of hot coffee, iced coffee, or tea. You can get a free refill every two hours and it is available during all cafe and bakery hours. If you get a cup of hot coffee every single day for a month, you'll only be paying around 30 cents per cup of coffee, where usually at Panera, you'd be paying around $2 a cup. This will save you even more if you're used to going to places like Dunkin' or Starbucks, where you'll be paying in the four to $5 range. Now, you might not love Panera coffee, but this might be a sacrifice that you should make. Now, again, making it at home is the best option to go with. You can usually make it for under 20 cents for a regular hot cup of coffee at home. Guys, I really hope that you find these tips useful. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please go down, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you guys in the next Business Buzz video.